If there's one thing we know to be true about presidents is that they can't always get involved in everything. Sometimes some of the smaller battles are fought by their proxies and as we speak, there's a governor who has been misbehaving in the name of George Natembea. Natembea has been insulting Wetangula for no apparent reason, yet elections are far off from today. Now what has Wetangula's response been? Wetangula's response has been that he has no time to fight with anybody and that has equally prompted the president's team to now move in in defense of Speaker Wetangula. Just listening to Ruto's close ally Farouk Kibet warning Natembea to stop all the threats against Wetangula and focus on development. Roll the tip. Ile na uliza watia tanzoya mukae na amani. Mukae na amani. Eh? Musingiwe na hii mteko. Najua ata saa hii tukiongea kuna watu wa metumu wana wengine ebu muende muone wanasema nini leo. Wacha tuambie sisi nataka kuambia watu wa tanzoya muwe na amani Watu wa Nsoya msijifunze matusi. Watu wa Nsoya msiseme tawe ovyo ovyo. Muwe watu ya kuleta maendeleo, sio? Mnataka maendeleo ama mnataka tawe? Mnataka maendeleo? Eh, hey, sasa mimi nauliza, wetangula anataka eh hey, ni mkubwa huko Senate. Governor wenu ni governor ya hapa. Hawa watu kuna uchaguzi kwa hapa katikati. Sasa nauliza tu kwa heshima watu waheshimiane wakae kwa unduku siku ya kupiga kura nyinyi ndio mtaamua nani alifanya kazi nani alikuwa na matuzi mingi. Si nyinyi mnajua? Eh. So amani ni kitu ya maana. This tape of Farouk confirms several things that I want us to touch on in this particular video. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first affirmation from this Farouk speech is that the William Ruto camp has had it with George Natembe. And I'm saying the William Ruto camp because in that meeting, there was Alan Sang, there was Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot, and Farouk Kibet himself. And all of them spoke the same language on stage. One thing Natembea needs to know is that this government went after former President Uhuru Kenyatta, a former president. What about him, a first-term governor? What can they do? This guy had better not ever steal even a single cent in Transoya because that led to several problems on his end with EACC and DCI. Because you know what goes around comes around. I don't understand what game Natembea is actually playing as we speak. Of what benefit is it to him to attack Wetangula, somebody who is a speaker, likely to go on and serve another term? Meaning this guy has no interest whatsoever in politics. He's not going to vie for president. He can't go look for his senatorial seat in Bungoma, which he left to Senator David Wafula. Neither can he scale up to become a governor because even scaling up to governor is slightly less than being a speaker. So Wetangula has no particular interest at any given point in vying for any seat in the country. The attacks from Natembea are very much uncalled for and I think he's using Wetangula to build his own political foundation. And that's not how it works. In politics, just work for the people. The people will praise you and what not from that particular locale that you represent. And it will ricochet like that. When Oparanya was governor of Kakamega, everyone in this country knew that he's doing a good job. The same way that everyone knows Didi Nyore is doing a good job in Kiharu. The people from that area are the ones who will sing the praise for you. And that is how people will get to know you and know that you're doing something good in your area. But for Natembe, he's not doing any work. He wants to insult Wetangula, hoping Wetangula will respond so that he can build his own political foundation using Wetangula very quickly. And then he can move on to possibly try and contest for president in 2032. I'm thinking that's the end game for Natembe. He's trying to be in the ballot in 2032. And this is not the way. If this is what he chooses to do, I don't think he'll make it. And the other thing Natembe needs to know, in politics and life generally, the most dangerous people are the ones who play the long game. And that's what Wetangula is actively doing. I've heard Farouk Kibet talking about in 2027 people will decide to vote for a development-oriented leader or a Tawe movement leader. And that's a clear indicator that the government will sponsor a candidate other than George Natembea. And Natembea will have a hard time surviving the storm because he's an orphan. On one side, 
ODM had a candidate in Transoia County in the name of Moses Hawea. Moses was told to stand down for who? For Natembea of DAPK party. After Natembea gets that particular seat, he betrays Raila and goes on to join the William Ruto camp. He has not even been in that camp for too long. He is attacking one of Ruto's close allies in the name of Wetangula. And we are seeing that retaliation coming back from Ruto's team. Eventually, it will come from the president himself or the DP. But for now, it's just the proxies. So as we approach 2027, what party is this guy going to use? He can't use ODM. He can't use UDA. DAPK, he betrayed them because DAPK was in an alliance with uh, Azimio and he went to work with Kenya Kwanzaa. Will he have to start his own party? And if that's the case, how does he even convince anyone that he is ready to contest for the presidency? Because any party he forms will be a localized village party. A party of some section of lawyers somewhere in western Kenya. That can never be enough. And that's the challenge Kalonzo is also having. Waipa is localized to Ukambani. So either way, this is the problems Natembe is bringing upon himself. He is also insulting people like Joanna Ngeno and so on and so forth. The problem for him is that his whole life he's been in uniform. He has enjoyed unprecedented power. You know, because some of these commanders, they have more power than politicians. MPs have powers to legislate, to do oversight and things like that. But actual power, they are commanders with power. People who can arrest a governor, a senator, an MP. This is the type of power that Natembe has had most of his life. And he used that to arrest Joanna Ngeno for an unprecedented 18 times. So there's beef there. And this beef is going to be served one day if he does not stop this thing of always attacking people. Attacking Wetangula, attacking this one, attacking Ngeno, attacking somebody. The day of judgment is coming for George Natembea if he does not style up. Already the William Ruto camp is feeling uncomfortable with his presence there. But that's just my opinion, guys. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Do you believe that Farouk Kibet is sending a salvo to George Natembea to quit this habit of insulting the Speaker of the National Assembly? Just drop me your comments. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.